This video is about the auxiliary air valve on the BTSC. The auxiliary air valve is mounted here next to the valve cover and it's getting air from in front of the throttle through this hose and then out the back all the way back and back into the manifold. In parallel there is a second vacuum line that branches off here and goes through this valve here and back into the manifold again. I'm gonna move over to a, a schematic instead of on the real engine to explain better how this works. This is the schematic now. So as we have seen on the engine, there's the air filter, the airflow meter, the 90 degree uh, intake hose, here's the throttle body with the throttle plate and the intake manifold and here's the auxiliary air valve and the AC idle valve. And uh, the reason the auxiliary air valve is mounted there is that it's supposed to increase the idle speed at a cold start. So what happens is we have air coming through the air filter in the airflow meter, so that is metered air that the engine computer knows is there and then normally this would go into the engine and uh, into the injectors. Since there is, uh, if you, to, to increase the idle speed what you need to do is get the engine additional air and this is done by taking metered air in front of the throttle body and routing it through the auxiliary air valve into the intake manifold. So that means that the engine computer sees more air. More air means it's going to meet more fuel and more fuel means that it's going to idle higher than normal. So what then happens is the engine starts, it has a higher idle, something like 13-1400 rpm and then there is a little gap in the auxiliary air valve that's going to be closing and effectively cutting off this branch here, taking away the additional air and then all the air is coming from here. So when this slowly closes, idle speed will slowly go down to normal. And that's just to help cold start. The difference is with a broken auxiliary air valve, an air engine will cough and spot it alive. And with an intact auxiliary air valve, it will come on and run immediately. These are two auxiliary air valves. One is an original Bosch unit that is um, not available anymore, new, and um, for Bosch doesn't make them anymore. But if they are available, you can uh, expect to pay for a new one, something like four or five hundred dollar, and um, for a used one up to three hundred. I have successfully tried an alternate design that is uh, does not look the same but works identical and that is uh, this one here and they are available at a much more reasonable price and there seem to be enough of them left. I have used that on bitter uh, number 356 and it works just like it should. The principle of operation for these things is that, as we discussed before, between here and here, there is a little flap inside that slowly closes off, slowly closes off the um, the airflow. You can see this little bit of of an air gap. That would be for cold start, and that closes slowly. The auxiliary air valve is heated back here with 12 volt, and that is what makes the little flap close and it's the same here. There's this little air gap and that makes uh, makes the car start properly. The way these work is that the uh, air gap, the size of the air gap, determines the cold idle, idle RPM, so basically the, the start RPM, and then the resistance, they all have different resistance here, the resistance um, determines how fast it closes. 
So in other words, if you have always 12 volt, then um, low resistance is high current, more heat to the bimetallic strip in here, and more heat means it's going to close quicker. And if it's uh, high resistance, it's a low current and it's, it takes it longer to close. That's the difference. So once again, the size of the air gap determines the, uh, the uh, uh, cold idle RPM, the immediate RPM when it starts, and the resistance, how long it closes, how long it takes to close. This is a starting attempt with broken auxiliary air valve at a temperature of 26 degrees, 26 degrees centigrade, so 7, 79 degree Fahrenheit. This is now a starting attempt with the auxiliary air valve installed and intact, working as it should. Same temperature. You see the car starts right away and it does the same thing at negative 3 degree centigrade slash 27 degree Fahrenheit and it will slowly come down to its normal idle speed. This is a cold start at 29 degrees or negative 2 degrees centigrade. And it is with a broken auxiliary air valve. These are the same conditions, 29 degree uh, Fahrenheit, negative 2 centigrade, this time with a functioning auxiliary air valve. 